An NBC 10 exclusive busting an alleged gun trafficking ring. Later today, various federal agencies will announce charges involving hundreds of firearms purchased in Georgia, then finding their way to Philadelphia. NBC 10's Miguel Martinez Valle live this morning with this report. Miguel, you've been reading deeper about the people who were involved in the report. What can you tell us? Hey, good morning. Yeah, authorities say that this case involves an astronomical amount of firearms that were bought through straw purchases. And that's basically when somebody buys guns for somebody who's either legally not allowed to or that just doesn't want a paper trail. Leading back to that. I do understand the the, the seriousness of the um of the situation. That's why I do feel it feels surreal. Frederick Norman is an Atlanta area rapper, also known as Slow Key Fred. The feds say he's also responsible for helping traffic nearly 300 firearms from his home state of Georgia to Philadelphia. I can't speak on that. But Norman did tell us he is a gun enthusiast. You could see him holding a gun in one of his videos. He explained his interest began when he attended his first gun show in early 2020. That's just a few months before prosecutors say he started making straw purchases. I never knew how open guns was in Georgia. Like uh, people, like the whole process threw me off. You walk in and then there's a police officer sitting at the front and they don't check for, you know, ID or carry licenses or if you're a felon or nothing. Norman is one of 11 people facing charges in what the ATF calls a large firearms trafficking scheme. According to court records, in one search of a Georgia apartment, agents found 4,000 rounds of ammunition and 183 empty gun boxes, most of which the feds say trace back to the defendants. I was just living life at that moment, so I can't really, you know, share details of how I got to where I'm, I'm at or how anything, you know, started or if anything started. Authorities say Norman ran the scheme in Georgia while two brothers were in charge on the Philly end. I've never actually been to Philadelphia. Law enforcement officials believe there are more guns from the ring in the streets of Philly. Norman would not answer if he felt responsible for any gun violence in the city, but he did say this. I, I do care about harm being brought up towards people because I'm not an advocate of violence. Now, most of the defendants did not have attorneys listed in the court documents. Now, some of the ones that we did reach out to, they either said that they would not comment or they did not respond to us. Now, we know at least two people have entered not guilty pleas. Frederick Norman would not say if he entered a plea. Now, this is, of course, a developing story, and we're going to have more information on NBC 10 News at 4. I'll send it back to you. I'm Miguel Martinez-Valle, NBC 10 News.